everybody welcome back got another more vod review here uh li Zhang tower let's see diamond one player says uh, in a 15 minute match i've gotten 11,000 damage 12k healing and maintain the lowest death count at nine surpassing our dps by additional 2,000 damage i felt it performed exceptionally well seemed uh, my team may have been the limiting factor uh, i'd like to point out some things one Oh, God, I just don't care about stats, and you shouldn't either. And unfortunately, Moira is kind of a stat queen. Um, I'll admit, when I first started playing her, like I liked that. I thought that was kind of cool, right? You know that that it was uh, one of the few heroes where you could get all five gold medals, right? For anybody who remembers that. Um, that said, once I start getting good with Moira, I realized it doesn't matter at all. So you just have to be uh, you have to be cognizant of that. Um, sometimes, and then the other thing is, is sometimes the team is the limiting factor, uh, but I feel like a lot of times it's not, so that's just, uh, just something to keep in mind. So right now, for example, right, this is what I call a case of, uh, you're playing passive and a, a case of, I'm hoping somebody will win the game for me because we're not really doing anything. We're just kind of healing our team and hoping they'll do something instead of us doing something. So one of the big things that you're going to see different, right? Because this is a diamond one. We're on the, the cusp of, of getting to the higher ranks. Is you're going to see that past diamond, everybody's a playmaker. And that's one of the, like, gates uh, of getting past these ranks. Okay, is everybody's a playmaker. You ever play in a, like a, a lower ranked game or even in a diamond game where there's a smurf and they just absolutely annihilate the lobby? Okay, well now imagine all five players are like that. Okay, that's what the higher ranks are like. So to be in the higher ranks, you have to be one of those people. Okay, so right now all I'm saying is we're not really doing anything. We're healing, we're throwing damage orbs, that's it. But we're not really changing any outcomes, okay? So, how would I be doing that differently? I'd be taking different angles, right? Now, with the Tracer here right now, um, I'd probably still be doing that. Just because there's not really anybody on your team that she can pick on. And, and this is a decent example because the Tracer is doing what I want you to be doing. She made an angle. She took your attention. She distracted you. And the Ryan was able to pin you, right? So... That's what you need to be doing, but for your team, right? And setting up your team to make plays, okay? So at this point, I would for sure say this is not specifically a, a, a team issue. This is, we're not really doing anything issue, okay? I like that ping. But we seem to want to follow our tank a lot. This is very dangerous, right? They have a Lucio, they have a Rhine. Mostly it's the Lucio I'd be worried about, but... Uh, if our Arissa wants to go in here, now if Arissa wants to go this way, that's fine. She's much harder to, to boop off the map, okay? But I, instead of going that way, I would have gone this way when, right, the Tracer's over here. We, sh we know she doesn't have Pulse because she, she just used it last fight. Um, and nothing's really happened since then, okay? I would coalescence this because we have our ult. I would come around here and I would coalescence this. And one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to turn around and look at you and your tank's going to move in. Or they're not going to turn around and look at you and you're going to do a ton of damage to them. Right? You, when you force that decision, you give your team the advantage. This, you're doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's like your player, it's like your team is down a player because of this. Right? How, how can you expect your team to do better in a 4v5? You know what I mean? Like, you have to think about it from that perspective. You can't control your team. You can never control your team. So you need to make the changes that are going to help your team. Okay? And this is easy. This is easy money right here. Because if I coalesce here, I don't give a shit about her. She's not going to do anything, right? She doesn't have pulse. It's really the only time I'm worried about Tracer when I'm, when I'm in coalescence. Okay? Because in the time it took you to walk over here, if you would have walked over here, you could even have faded in here and coalesced, Right? I, I wouldn't go all the way in, right? But if you needed to close this distance, you could have faded. You didn't really didn't really need to. I you know, it just it depends on what was going on when I came around the corner, 
right? So anyway, this decision right here, just it, it made it so, oops, where are we? There we go. Very dangerous. We basically faded into their team. Um, that Torb just basically his lack of aim. <laughs> okay. So, yep, we just found out the hard way why you need to stay away from that space. Okay. It's probably play the game too, isn't it? What was this? I don't understand that orb. So, uh, again, we're going, we're going right back to where we were, right back to where we just lost the fight, and we're doing the same thing again. Okay. So your Arisa can kind of get away from that stuff, because one, she has the tank passive, and two, when she's in Fortify, she can't be booped. And then if she um, use her spin to walk forward, um, it's also going to be much harder for her to get booped. That's good. Okay, once again, we just completely just didn't notice the Rhine. And we got lucky there that we didn't get taken off the map. This is good. I like that you went after the BAP and ignored what was going on over here because your, your team can handle that. I mean, I don't know if it was intentional or not. Um, so, just minor thing, uh, your Symmetra kept running after she gets pulsed, so for you guys, if you get pulsed and you don't have Fade, stop moving, just stand still, okay? You're dead anyway, don't, don't run the risk of, of catching somebody else in the pulse, okay? So you'll see really high rank players do that. Anytime they get pulsed, they just stop moving, because they know it's over. So, this... I was going to say, like, I like the concept of this, but we're way too close to the enemy team. Okay, yeah, we got our fate forced out. Okay, but then we completely, completely disengage. Okay, so if you watch the games, um, especially the Rialto game, where I'm playing in gold, uh, I, I talk about this a lot, where I fade, but I don't actually, I'm not out of the fight. I fade, but I'm, I'm I fade to safety, but I'm not out of the fight. Okay. And the, the higher you rank up, the more impactful it is when you do those really long rotations like that. Okay. So honestly, I say your team did really well. I would not call this a team diff uh, at this point. I, I would say, you know, and I'm not specifically watching them, and of course everybody has their mistakes, but us being very passive and not tanking angles is 100% impact on our team. This is good. I like the I like the different angle. I'd say we're a little bit too far ahead. Okay. At that point, yeah, we want to let our tank engage and then start looking for another angle. Okay. Like this. This is good. It's just we're doing it too slow and then we end up getting punished for it. Because we, we walked in a straight line kind of across the open area and then didn't fade. So if you notice, like, it, everything so far, we, we haven't really made any plays, right? We got we got some kills, like, during our coalescence, but that was kind of, like, reactionary. Um, we, ha we have to be looking for these. Like, this, I like this, but now we're, what are we doing? We're rotating back to our team, okay? You stay there. Don't worry about, don't worry about him. He can go get the Mega if he, if he needs healing, right? Okay, go over here, allow your team to walk in, right? You notice how they pushed you, but you, you, you gave away this space before they ever pushed you, right? Because all you got to do, right? So say you shoot the orb at them. They start walking at you, right? You come up here and you're behind this corner. If they push around this corner, then you can then you can fade and just stay right here, right? They're going to turn around because you faded, okay? But now you've opened up this angle. And then when they turn around to re-engage the tank, instead of running all the way to your team, you just come back over here and shoot another orb, right? And keep the pressure on from multiple angles. Because now, once again, we're just, we're not doing anything. Okay. 
I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> we, we were getting pressured by the soldier, and then we just stayed in front of him, right? And then the Hanzo hit us, too. Um, tunnel vision? I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that was. I can't... Uh, I forgot to check. Okay, it's a console game. I don't know how much that really matters, but... I couldn't remember. So this is good at angle, right? Look at this. They None of them are looking you. This is perfect, right? Free damage. Killing the soldier. Okay. Okay. I would have ulted when you got, when you got your ult. This is this is fine. But uh, I, I would have ulted there. Yeah, we, we, we held our ult just too late. Yep, fight's already lost. So. If, yeah. So if you would have ulted... Look at it. Right? Because you're Sojourn ult, so nobody's looking at you. Okay? He dies. Ult. Ult. And then get to... Get... Like, when you ulted, you go here and get to cover. I like this. This is good. Stay there. Put the pressure on the BAP. Right? Kill the lamp. Do all this pressure. Stay out of the Hanzo's light of sight. Because you were already in the right spot. Kill all this. Hog goes in there and kills them. While you are also... Hitting them with coalescence, okay, and then you guys clean up the fight. So you lost this fight your, for your team for sure by by that indecision. Yeah. Because then we ended up using our ult anyway in a one v four. Um, basically, actually a one v five. The soldier was back um, and, and, and paid for it. So. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of passive indecision. Okay, passive play, indecision, um, and, and we're not we're not taking angles. Okay, and see that the enemy team is making mistakes too. Like he just wasted his ult. There was no reason for him to do that. I mean, what do you think was going to happen? That all five of you were going to line up in there, and then you die, and they all five of you die, and you guys win the point. You know what I mean? Like the, the everybody is making mistakes. Okay, all right. So we're sitting on our orb. Should have shot it already. Okay. We need to tighten tighten up our, our cooldown usage. Okay. Okay, and and again now we're just we're just sitting behind our tank doing nothing, right? Are we getting stats? Yeah. But are those stats winning your game? Mm -mm. Okay. So take multiple angles. If your tank's here, I want to be over here. If your tank's here, I want to be over here. Right? You're not that far from your team, right? We're, it's not like we're going on a massive flank because I, I wouldn't do that against them. You don't really have... They don't really have anybody you can pick on, right? Because he can cha he can get away or chase you. Uh, he has three lives and he can just kill you. He has self-healing, is fast, and can do a lot of damage, right? It's the tank, okay? The Cassidy, right, can hinder you with his grenade that doesn't require aim and then just kill you right so there's nobody on their team that you can really pick on so it's not like you're going to go flanking but what you are going to do is, is do angles right like their soldiers doing their soldiers just shooting for free because he's up there and nobody's putting any pressure on him right how can you how can you blame your bastion for this right he's standing out in the open but when the soldiers just shooting up there for free and nobody's going after him If you shoot an orb right there when you come around this corner, it'll it'll hit the bridge. It's also dangerous to go this way when you know they have a Lucio. I mean, you guys have one too, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, I I typically like almost always like just avoid the bridge. I, f I feel like it's it ends up being a shit show. We need to take more time to aim our orbs. I've noticed typically I don't call out people on missing orbs, but you it, you seem to miss a lot of them. So just take that extra second. Um, again, if you watch my gameplay, I will sometimes, I will like stop what I am doing. Like I'll stop, aim my orb, and then shoot it, right? And that's in games that are twice as fast as this. Right? I like that orb. 
But see, once again, how we're not really providing any any distraction value. Like, we're healing, but okay, cool. Everybody can do that. What does Moira bring to the table, right? You have to think about it from that perspective. Every support can heal. Yeah, can Moira heal a lot? Yes. But we're, we're in the rank where it doesn't matter anymore, okay? Uh, as I said, if you watch the... I, I reviewed a GM2 player on Pariso recently, last few days, okay? And when they're defending and the enemy team is about to capture the second point, um, their Roadhog is using his Take a Breather. He's got a Zen Harmony Orb on him, and our Moira is healing him all at the same time, and he still died, okay? You know, and the Take a Breather has a damage reduction. It gives you 500 health. He's got the Harmony Orb on him, which is, uh, again, not a lot, but, and we're more healing him, and he still died through all of that, right? We're at the rank where, like, we're getting, we're at, basically at the rank where that starts to just be the case. Because there is more damage than healing in the game, okay? So bulk healing doesn't win games. And this is why people complain about Moira in the higher ranks, is they think she doesn't have any utility because her kit is just about healing and damage. There's no obvious utility in her kit. So, the, the way you get utility, I really like that orb, by the way. The way you get utility is through distraction and deception, right, and, and using alternate angles, and that's where Moira's strength comes into, into play because she is very mobile, she's very hard to hit, and she's very high self-sustained, so she can get around. I like that decision to head towards the soldier. It's good. And then get out. That was a good decision too. Right? Recognize the fight was lost when we got out. So what you're doing there, like getting damage before your tank there gets there is fine. It's good. I, I, I like the concept, but we need to do it from different angles, right? So we're not taking as much damage. The whole point is we want the enemy team to have to turn to look at us. Okay, we can hear the soldier. So if you're not using your sound cues, um, now is the time. Basically, he just got out. I'm surprised he didn't shoot at you guys. I, I guess the hog pushed him, but... You know. Is your Lucio going to survive that? Yeah, he made it out. He got pinned off the map. So, like, for this coalescence, I would be looking to do it at, from an angle. Like, like right now, honestly. Fade right here. Ult. Pushes them all back. Okay? And you push, force them back into this choke and give your team the advantage. Right there. Easy coalescence. Now, it looks like they kind of back themselves up. Okay, fine. Use your coalescence, right? We're still sitting on it. So, if we would have forced them into that choke, and then they use those ults, it would have made way harder for them to push back out into you. Okay? So again, another opportunity for us to do, put some pressure on this fight where we didn't do it. Uh, so yeah, I 100% wouldn't say this was a team diff, this was a you diff. Um, that's not to say your team didn't make mistakes, but you had so many opportunities to impact these fights, um, and, and you didn't. Okay, this is dangerous. Like, I know it's overtime, but... Can't believe that. I can't believe you didn't die there, right? That's a diamond thing, okay? The higher rank, you would have just... They would have just killed you as soon as you landed. Okay, looks like this is it. Okay, so, um, yeah, 100%. Um, you, you had a lot of opportunities to swing these fights, and the big picture here is I want to see you taking more angles. I want to see you be more aggressive. Stop making these huge long rotations back to your team, okay? And then use your ult, right? E every time we used our ult, it was late, okay? So use your ult sooner, okay? Put yourself, and the way you practice this is by putting yourself in a position to use your ult. So, like... As soon as you get it, be like, okay, I'm going to use it now. So now I need to put myself in a position to use it. Okay. And, and think about it that way and practice it that way. So, okay. All right. Well, um, 
yeah, got a lot of stuff to improve, and that's good. Just right, we're already in Diamond 1, and uh, we got some stuff to improve, so we can keep climbing. Um, fix those angles in, in these coalescences, and that's... You can get into Masters by tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, it's... it's you're right there, so just, just keep doing it. So, All right, well, that'll about do it for this one. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.